Welcome, Welcome back, back pop, pop stars. stars. I'm Rizzo. I'm Benji. And this is the second half of the third season of Heartstoppers. Season three. We are super excited to be here. And hopefully y'all are excited and y'all are back to watch more. All right, you ready, Benji? Yeah. Three, three two, two, one. Heartstopper. Heartstopper. Just trying to fuck with me. We focus a lot How's on Tori this doing? season. Yeah. Is she okay now? Oh, what is she going through? Is this his room? Is she just checking on him? Uh, oh, she's gonna crawl on bed with him. That's that tiny little bed, though. I know, right? It's not enough. Literally, for everybody in this show has a bigger bed than him. <laughs> you worried about today? No, I'm just thinking about what presents I'm gonna get. I hope I get a soul. Uh. I hope I get a mum who can regulate her emotions. I hope Dad remembers to properly season the turkey. Oof, we're not getting any of this, are we? He won't. Yeah, he won't. <laughs> uh, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Not a soul. That's so sad. Oh, you have a soul. Exactly. Even if you have to pretend to have one to be there for the people you love. <laughs> I feel that. Why aren't you guys spending Christmas together? Oh, oh my God. <laughs> They hid that on purpose. I think Henry's such a boring name. That's a great, it's a professional I'd name. I'd call him for a professional. Schmomp. Henry is the cutest dog I've ever Mops. seen in my life. And I need to meet Mops. Him Mops. Also, happy Christmas. I love you. Mm, bonkers. No. Pit. No, not Piddles. Piddles. I like Piddles. Blump. His name's Blump. Ew. So now you want a pug? I miss my pug. Yeah. You're still looking a bit skinny, aren't you? I thought you were getting all that mess sorted out. Oh my god. Um, Victoria, why did you cut all your hair off? I was like, who the hell is Victoria? Oh, yeah. Because Tori is short for Victoria. Technically. It's okay if you're feeling stressed. I'm fine. Everything okay? Yeah, everything's fine. Okay. Um, Jesus, Heartstopper Season 3 is sponsored by Adidas. <laughs> Probably. Period. I love the realism texting multiple groups, even though you've already texted individual. Uh, yeah. uh -huh. You need to tell us about your boyfriend. How long have you been going out? Eight months. What about you, Tori? I have no soul. Well, you're not missing out on much. No. Straight boys are the absolute worst. I hope this one turns out better. <laughs> <laughs> Stop getting up. They're fine down there. I think she's just worried. You don't say. That's hard. It's like I fully get where the mom's mm. coming from, but also that you can't. Yeah. I want that pug! What did I call him? Blump? Yes. <laughs> Blump! It just sounds like Blumpkin to me. You know dad's not coming. Maybe he will, maybe he won't. He won't. Where's, Where's your mom? mom? She's somewhere in the party. Uh-oh. Uh, oh, sorry. Was that? We gotta was figure that, out what areas are off sorry. limits. It's fine. Sex talks does not get any easier the older you get. What are you talking about? Sex talks are filling. They can be fun. Like, where do you want to put it? I'm cool with that. That's how mine go. In my head. I can't imagine what Christmas would be like in a place like that. You just hear horror stories. White walls, straight jackets, all that. It's not accurate. We're just happy that Charlie's back to normal and back with us. Ah. Uh. Not everybody understands what you've been dealing with. So I just have to put up with ignorant comments from my own family. Well, somebody probably needs to tell him, like, hey, we don't need to bring it up. Don't ask us. It's fine. We're taking care people. of it. Yeah. I, I'm just aware that today's been a very difficult day for you. Oof, you're giving you me anxiety. Half your dinner. You're not helping. You're making me feel worse. Fine. I'm sorry I even tried. Oh, my God. I'm going to Nick's. Please don't. I just can't deal with all of that. Do you think meeting his family is going to be easier? And now you're just leaving me. Can't you at least spend Christmas with me? Aww. Come to Nick's. Let's you go. Spend all your time with Nick anyway. Because he treats me as something other than mentally ill. I don't treat you as mentally ill. I do too. Uh, me and him can kiss. Oh, I'll see you later. And that makes him better than you. Uh, Bring her over. I'm sure it's an open invite. Mom won't miss us. She's busy with all these shitty family members we have. Sorry, I had not argue with my mom. I want to talk about it. Not really. <laughs> Not really. Ew. 
Oh, not the whole family. Okay, this is the boyfriend. Then. No, <laughs> this is the other woman. I have those reindeer ears. Tori, I feel bad. It's one of the things you can overlook when you're not watching the show and you can see how sad Tori is. Well, he saw how sad she was. She literally said, please just spend Christmas with me. And she was crying. I don't want to change. Oh. Yeah, he has not shown off his body at all. But they also made a point where he's not doing it for his body image. But no, I'm wondering if... But... Sponsored by Adidas. All done. Well, that's all his boyfriend shops at, I guess. You look adorable. I look ridiculous. Ridiculous. Nobody adorable. looks ridiculous when you're wearing Adidas. <laughs> Sponsored by Adidas. He doesn't have an extra sweater? Not by Adidas. <laughs> A Christmas sweater. Yeah, that is weird that they wouldn't give him another. You are gonna go. Oh. Blumps. Is that a new family dog or is that his dog? <laughs> Blumps. His tongue. He looks like a blump. I guess so. A blump on a log. Blumps. I don't even remember his real name. Henry. I think it was Henry. Boring. You know you got a real family who actually want to hang out with you. Do they? Your dad is family. Well, if he'd stop being so miserable. I think family are the people who actually give a shit. Period. Merry Christmas. Motherfucker. That's more than you ever deserve. Ray. You left me to fend for myself against our cousins. Yeah, that was selfish. And I think mum might be willing to apologize. I don't think that dog has moved yet. There it goes. As wild as that sounds. Man, they got I two of the cutest wine. dogs ever. Oh. I hate Christmas. But I like doggies. You don't. I hate this one. Mm -hmm. I worry about you all the time. Did you know that? But nobody worries about me. We just want to be there for you. Sorry, I'm trying to pay attention, but there's a really cute dog on yes, the screen. Us. There's two. And not just say that you're fine when you're not. And also be there for us a little bit, maybe. I just wish we could rewind and start today all over again. All right, mom and dad. Jeez. I know. That's why I didn't want you two well, hanging out. <laughs> hey, I'm sorry about earlier. Tao, where the hell's your mom? Tao. They didn't bring her back for you, sorry. I also want to do things. It's just more complicated for me. I don't really think about you being trans, if that makes it easier. I know, but... You might need to. I am trans. I never imagined finding a boyfriend and feeling so safe with him that I'd even think about taking my clothes off in front of him. Mm. When you put your hand there, all my dysphoria just hit me. It made me feel like my body wasn't my body. Like... Oh. Like I wasn't there at all. Oh, God. I'm sorry. <sighs> This show is sorry. for real. <laughs> God damn. I'm not letting us off. I'm sorry I made you feel like that. I love everything about you. Whatever you want to do or not do, it's okay. I still want to be with you. While I walk you home, we can talk a bit more about what you're comfortable with. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 His boyfriend's a sportster, you know? <laughs> Sorry, pugs make me irrationally angry in the fun way. Ready? In the aggressive kind of way. I just want to squeeze them. Oh my gosh. Where's your sister? You ditching her again? I was my tiny boy. He's, He's not a tiny. tiny. My art keeps going like viral. Her art is great. I wonder who, like, Period. does her art. I think she does. <laughs> Yes. What if she's actually an artist? Maybe she does do it. That would be cool, but that'd be a lot of extra work. Yeah. And I would hope that they get paid for that. Mm -hmm. Especially if they're commissioning art, not just using what she already has. I like how Darcy is slowly in the background becoming more themselves. Mm -hmm. They didn't call attention to it, but they definitely had a different haircut. Like, yeah. what was it, one episode ago? Uh -huh. You don't need to rush to come out as anything. Yeah. Just chill. Have fun with it. Seems like Gran's okay with it yeah. too, so. Yeah. yeah. I will have fun with it. I can't believe they said, what did they, a vintage camera? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about your old ass camera. I'm pretty sure I. <sighs> From your old ass childhood. Oh, now the dancing is getting a little bit more intimate. This is my vintage camera. It is vintage. How old is that? Yeah. What is that? A fucking one inch screen? <laughs> I love this camera. Does it say what year it is? It was like 2003, I think. Ooh, 20 years old. Shut up! <laughs> me and Tao, we want to have sex. What if he touches me and I just freak out? I want to. I'm just scared. I mean, I hate that this is stopping me from being with him in that way. 
Yeah. I appreciate too that she's acknowledging she's like not even fully freaked out about him disliking it's just her. The the comfort. The comfort of your own self. Because it's like you can debate whether or not someone will or won't like you, but the first battle is Am I gonna be comfortable? You trust him and he loves you and <laughs> if anything goes wrong, I'll be here for you and he'll be there for you. Not that I'm trying to mansplain transplain. No, god damn it. Mansplain the trans experience. <laughs> Stop it. But I, no, I'm Stop saying I appreciate it. So straight. I appreciate that they're focusing because then for people who are watching it can be like, yeah. Yeah, it doesn't have to be. Because you can never, their fault. you can never know what's in someone else's head, but you can always at least try and figure yourself out how you feel in yourself. So I appreciate that. How are your friends? Off being fun. One day you're going to make friends with someone you actually enjoy being around. <laughs> I enjoy being around. I care about you. She has got something quietly depressing going on. Mm. And I'm not ready for this season to end on something really sad about her. No. Almost midnight. Make sure you got someone to kiss. Oh. Hey, he's back. Dick. Fireworks? <laughs> Dick? I wanted to apologize for Halloween. Okay. I wasn't doing it for attention or anything. Not exclusively. I didn't really know what I was doing. You thought she was cute. And you was drunk. I don't want to be just an experiment to you. That is fair. Especially when you know you're the reason I realized I was buying in the first place. Oh, uh, I'll be a little bit of an experiment. Wait. Just for a little bit. I didn't know that. Uh, she didn't know that. What is happening with Tori? Is it just straight up depression? Oh. Oh. Let's go. He's cute. Oh, look at the smile <laughs> she just gave. I'm like, does she just have kind of an antisocial personality where it's like hard for her to connect to people? Come with me. We're going to have sex at midnight. We're going to bring in the new year. We're going to bang in the new year. Happy new year. There we go. We said it at the end of last season. We all felt it. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah. Wow, what a great show. All right. No. <laughs> yes. This captures your spirit as well as your likeness. We've had contact from a local radio station. They've heard about your social media blowing up and they want to interview you. I did get you a present. It's that Instagram famous historian you like. He's doing a book signing on Sunday, so I thought maybe we could go off. That's our guy. Him. That's Wait, Jonathan. We get to meet him. I love you so much. Do I also get a birthday kiss? No. Walks away. Yeah. Ew. What are we gay? No, no. <laughs> oh. Always oh. just secretly running away and kissing. You know, what else are you going to do? Study? Uh, Me and Nick were making out in a practice room. It got really intense really quickly, and then it stopped, and it was kind of awkward and overwhelming. And it's not like we've done nothing. I mean, it's all been over the clothes, but sometimes when we're making out, we... Uh, I would like to know what happened. Please spare us <laughs> what? No, I want all the details. There you go. Oh you know what? I don't want to talk about this anymore. Get out. I need to change. Yeah, I don't think he likes his body either. No, yeah. Oh, it's mm. or maybe it's also just the, the scars. <laughs> yeah. Best such fucking day ever. Wait, where are his parents? They I left him on his birthday. Literally about to ask. Like, what are they doing? They also don't seem like the type of parents that would leave him alone for his birthday. No. Hello. Yes. Charlie. Who the fuck is this? Do you have a friend we don't know about? Hi, Michael. Happy birthday. This is for you. I found him at a charity shop and he just had your energy, so I figured he belonged with you. Okay, well, uh, She said, no. Bye, everyone. Come on. Is he Tori's boyfriend? She won't confirm whether they're dating or not. Ha! <laughs> she cannot confirm yeah. nor deny. But he comes over and they disappear into her room. Okay. Where Sounds he like comes. a boyfriend to me. No. Things have been really awkward with us. I've been doing a lot of thinking and reflecting. I have no idea who I am. I don't want to keep hurting you. Do you hate me? No. That's what makes it difficult. I don't think I could ever hate you. You helped me realize something pretty big about myself. Guess I could say the same about you. So she's admitting she might be like bi or pan, but she's also... You know we'd be awful together, right? She's just saying she doesn't <laughs> no. like her like that? Yeah, I know. I like us better as friends. Oh. Right, can we get crazy drunk now? <laughs> Let's see, we can make out again? 
<laughs> I know, right? Let's get really drunk so I can make out with you again and feel bad about it in the morning. <laughs> no. No. Have you guys started thinking about uni options? I think I want to go to a super old university. Tara, what about you? Uh huh. I don't know. So Do you think maybe it. she like doesn't no, see herself to going to college or something? Guys, we not talk about uni stuff right now. You don't I, she can't afford it. Or her parents want her to go somewhere she doesn't want to go. She's nervous. She doesn't want to be high achieving anymore. Tara. I don't know, but we'll find out. I think you're having a panic attack. My therapist gave me some exercises. So let's do some deep breaths together. Breathe in for three. And breathe out. And breathe in. And breathe out. Let's do it one more time. Okay? We're in my house. We're... Feel better. You okay? Just stressed about everything right now. I'm fine. I don't accept that answer. I need to know what happened. <laughs> All in good time, Benji. Yeah. I'm so drunk right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's drunk Charlie. Damn. God. High drunk functioning. Charlie's got his shit together. Let's get you some water, okay? Come here. Yo, we about to have a drunk makeout session. That was hit different. I've been thinking about something. Mm -hmm. What's that? You me. S E X. We could do things. What kind of things? S E X. Have sex. How you feeling, bad? I think about it all the time. Yeah, so do I. But. Uh, you. Yeah. I know I wasn't ready. All right. In Paris, but it was a long time ago. It was a whole other season ago. We can go upstairs. <laughs> oh, yeah, I can go upstairs. Oh, we're gonna do You're incredibly drunk. Drunk enough to party. Oh, I'm so I'm scared that you look at me and. I, I think I move, I think move. I'm sick. Get out of the oh, way. Oh, shit. Um, <laughs> let's go to the toilet. Come on. It's a perfectly good sink right behind you. I know you're not supposed to vomit in the sink, but I hate when I'm drunk and people tell me not to vomit in the sink. Why aren't you supposed to vomit in the sink? I don't know. Wait, hold your hair back. Clean it out. That's a what kitchen the sink, sink is, is for. Fine. Oh, yeah, like not a sink without a garbage disposal. But for the sure. bathroom sink, they're like, don't do it. I'm like, shut the fuck up. Oh, I'll vomit wherever I want unless you want it on the floor in your bed. <laughs> exactly. Mom and dad will be back in half an hour. Where the hell did they go on the day of my birth? Did he stay over? Yeah. So? I can have friends over too. Friends. <laughs> it's the difference between friends and uh, friendlier. Who is that from? Uh, Princess Diaries. I can't believe I'm about to be replaced. <laughs> <laughs> Not at least for another, what, oh, four years? Oh, look who it is. Jonathan. In between doing literally everything else right, in right. the world. He did what, like this, Bridgerton and Fellow Travelers at the same time? Right? Yeah, and he was probably prepping for a Jurassic World. Right, he's doing that too. Just make sure you speak nice and clearly, Elle. Should we get started? Okay. I just started to post my art to my social media. Now I have over 50,000 followers. Period. That's amazing. Damn, that is pretty quick. Now, much of your art explores your identity as a young trans woman. Why is that your focus? I'm very proud to be trans. It's a big part of who I am. And that's so important right now, isn't it? I guess so. What's wrong? What's happening? Maybe she's not necessarily trying to be like a poster girl for a transness. She's just... Some call it a culture war. Feminists versus trans activists and oh, so whoa, on. Whoa, whoa, uh, whoa. Last week we had a feminist speaker who talked to us about the importance of same-sex spaces. I think it's so important we hear all voices and opinions. So I'm 15. I'd love to hear your thoughts 16. on the debate. Not something I want to talk about right now. Trans people aren't a debate. We're human beings. Our speaker last week believed that the presence of gender-neutral bathrooms will increase cases of sexual assault against women. Hop I'm up. Very interested you don't to have to. Thoughts about that. Well, you don't have to do this. I've been bamboozled. Well, your speaker last week was transphobic then. Let's move on to something else. Oh, let's just move on. Teachers must inform parents oh, about no, students no. changing their pronouns. Uh, now, yeah. Now, we transition very young. I'd love to know how you feel about the potential. I I'm not here to am talk a about human being. I'm not. Um, I think I need to go. I'm sorry if I offended you. Are you? This is I'm not sure. what we agreed. Let's go. It's okay, baby. Come on. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Damn. Yeah. Oh, no, you can't trust a Mesopotamian to source your copy, God. <laughs> Girl, we all what? know that. <laughs> okay, who's got another question? What's your phone number? Uh, yes, young man in the denim jacket. 
I was just wondering if you had any book recommendations about queerness in ancient Greece. That's a wonderful question. I have just finished reading the most enthralling book last week while I was in Milan. Oh, when you were in Milan? When you were in Milan? In Milan, darling. And then did you hop on over to Epita? You're a big inspiration to me. Oh, that is so lovely to hear. What's your name? Charlie. Study hard and love Jack. Don't ignore your Latin vocab. Thanks. What can I do for you? Nothing. It's um, really fun. The Mesopotamian. I'm jokes. here with him. But that was great. Thank you. <laughs> nice to meet you. Really nice to meet you. Uh, should we? Yeah. Nice to meet you. Um, what happened there? What's going on? Is that your crush on him too? Yeah, he's really hot. Yeah. Oh my <laughs> I was <laughs> like, yeah, you got nervous too. I was That's like, what so I was at? Is that boy's first crush? Yeah. He said, all right, I get it. I get it. He's gorgeous. Now that we're both all horny. <laughs> he was a lightning rod for that Listen. horn. <laughs> Uh-oh. Should we stop? No. Don't power through it. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. Can I take this off? I wish it'd stop. No, no, no. We're taking one step ahead. Oh, well, thank God. Oh, what did I just walk in on? Had a nice time today? Yeah. <laughs> Looks like you were trying to have a nice time right now. Okay. It's going to leave this wide open. <laughs> <laughs> I'm nervous about taking my shirt off. Ah, good to say that out I, loud. I can fuck you with it on. I don't look like Jack Maddox or anything. It's like, I know what you look like. You Joy look fine. You look great. Fine. You look great. <laughs> you know that I've got scars. Yep. You know I really fancy you infinitely more than Jack Maddox. Mm -hmm. Even though he's got a six pack. Jack Maddox is new. He didn't even know who he was. I don't care about that. That's Jonathan Bailey, right? Yeah. I love you. I want you. Yeah. I really did want to carry on. Mom, have you seen my laptop charger? We're gonna have to go somewhere else. Yeah, did you think you were gonna have sex with everyone home? And I just get into this headspace where all I can think about is how disgusting he'll think I look. We've talked about how you get anxious when you feel like you don't have control. Part of intimacy is trusting someone enough to let go of some control. Mm. And that's scary. Yep. But as long as you and Nick respect and trust each other, communicate and listen to each other, you're safe. Just wish I was more confident. Aren't you the one who confessed your feelings to Nick first? I was gonna you didn't say even know whether he liked you back. And you were the one who discussed having sex first. Mm, confidence or delusion. We love it. But feel confident. That's just a challenge you're gonna have to face. But I know you have it in you, Charlie. We really do. Look at that. It's now he's in love with life. Moaning. We still don't know what's fully going Ooh. on with uh, Tara or Terror, however they pronounce it. Oh, they're ready for it. Does she want to be a dancer? Well, if that's the case, we're only just now finding out about it, aren't we? Hey, guys. Hey, we're in the middle of a game here. <laughs> okay. Oh, he's he's ready to devour you. He's ready to deflower you. <laughs> Don't cuddle, solve everything. Yeah, this is exactly that, what I needed. That's a bigger dog. That's not the same pug. <laughs> but I'm guessing it's been a few months, so they're probably... No, that pug is a different snout, and it's a much happier dog. No, I was saying it's been a few months in their world, so they've got an older dog. Oh, was that supposed to be a baby? I don't think the other one was a baby. I think it was more of a puppy. Well, that dog's snoot it's is fully different. different. It's got a different its personality is different. Yes. Take I, it from a previous <laughs> pug owner and pug uncle. Punkle. And take it from someone who works with dogs professionally for three years. We know our dogs. I'm still trying to figure out if Sadie, is that the dog's name? I feel like it's the same dog. I've been a bit stressed all year. I just have way too much on my plate. Yeah, that dog's way more active. I love my ballet classes, but I've got to get three buses to get them. <laughs> Look at it. Well, I can drive you to ballet if you want. Oh, I love their friendship. I haven't really got much going on, to be honest. Oh, yeah, he really hasn't got... And that's because you've been focused on helping Charlie. Oh, shit. I'm just realizing that now, too. Yeah, he used to be really into rugby. I've been focused on Darcy and all their stuff with their mum. Just need to remember to look after yourself, too. Cucumbers and condoms. Condoms. That sets unrealistic expectations for penises. They should do... They should be tastier. Oh, you mean big. I just don't think that losing your virginity is that big of a deal. I'm still nervous. Yeah. Maybe you could put a condom on me next time. Gay! <laughs> <laughs> condoms. 
<laughs> I'm glad that they're being realistic. <laughs> Gay people I know I say some of the most out of pocket things, but it's okay for them to say it to each other. I don't blame you for being nervous. It's supposed to be fun. I'm sorry about the interview. Mother and I had a chat. Should have expected it. No, you shouldn't. Was it yeah. live or did they not post it? That sucks. It's hard. I can see why she's like, I should have expected it, but it's like in a perfect world, you shouldn't have to. No, exactly. It's like, maybe I could have expected a couple questions on my experience with being a trans artist, but like not, what are your ideals on all these politics, 15 year old? And also, what are your ideals on the politics that basically say on one half, rights for you, and the other half, you don't exist. You're not human, you shouldn't be here. What do you think about that? Yeah. Don't come in, fuck off. <laughs> I didn't know he was here. Right. Well, let's finish. I thought it wasn't your mom. <laughs> well, come on. Your brother's not going to interrupt you. I don't think they're going to have any uh, safe space for sex. Or somebody's just got to sneak out in the middle of the night. Look at him and all these pets. I feel like that was the old dog. Can I sleep over tonight? You know how my mom is about it. She loves you, but yeah, I should say no. She should come in here and tell us herself. Yeah, let's ask. Can I watch a movie, though? Hmm. Oh. <laughs> what about... Ah, uh, nice kingdom. Man, how you have got a new stepdad on the way. <laughs> you have a girlfriend. I, this is <laughs> joke. <laughs> it's a running gag. Mm -hmm. I'm worried about you. Don't worry. I'm going to look after myself and do what I want. Everyone's got so many. Uh, and that includes doing me. Everyone's got so many things going on. <laughs> that John Maddox scene was useless. I know, I was like, uh, is that all that we got from him? There was no, he didn't even say anything pertinent to the story. He turned them on enough that they decided they wanted to have sex. Mm. Even though they kind of already knew they wanted to. Useless, Netflix. <laughs> You're all staying at Truem for sixth form, right? I wanted to give you this. What's all this then? Campaigning starts in the autumn. I think um, you should apply. No. Really? I Why? don't want to. You're smart. You're a strong person. And I think you could do a lot of good for the kids at this school. It sounds like it'd be really stressful and it would trigger me. It's just something to think about over the summer. Charlie. What's up? There are a lot of younger students who would find it inspiring to see you as head boy. Oh. Ah. Uh. <laughs> sure. God damn. <laughs> I hate that that was all they had to do. I know. <laughs> they didn't even do damn. anything. God damn it. <laughs> Fuck you guys. <laughs> that was Shit. good. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> Shit, man. Damn. Woo. It's not like this radio woman was a raging bigot or anything. She probably thinks of herself as an ally. I was there to talk about my art. Yeah, not about... Have you spoken to anyone about it? Post it on your Instagram. Tao, maybe? I love Tao. He would fight the world for me, but... He doesn't know this experience. He just can't properly understand. We're here. Hey. Hey. Eyes on the physical ball. <laughs> Why don't you and I go sneak off and make out? <laughs> you know, like we like to do. Yeah, it's the last practice of a year. Practice. Why I am I even here? Exactly. The boyfriend sleepover. There's not really much point in her banning sleepovers. If you and Nick want to have sex, then you'll have sex. You don't there need a sleepover go. to do that. Please tell my mom that. Hey, if you two don't have any good advice, I'm going to go upstairs. That was good advice. My advice is to sneak out. My advice is that That's a sleepover is unnecessary for the activity in question. That's what you said. So we have a history of getting walked in on. <laughs> yeah. Lock the door. You guys have been waiting a long time. Normalize locking your door. That's not a bad thing. There's so much pressure to have sex at our age, but people should just take as long as they need. You yeah, no, 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 but they're ready. They took as long as they wanted. <laughs> You've been through a lot too, Nick. It's okay to admit that Charlie being ill was tough for you. You don't have to be the strong one all the time. I just don't think I would have had the courage to explore being non-binary if it weren't for you. Yeah. You made it feel so easy. Um, non-binary. Yeah. And they've settled on that nice. <laughs> <laughs> Can I f my boyfriend tonight? <laughs> you know what I haven't seen in a while though? Anything from Adidas. They spent their whole budget on the first half of the season. No. She's gonna say no. Oh, is dad already in on it? Oh no. Dad, you talk to her. Mm -hmm. uh, we're gonna let our son Me have sex. Nick were wondering if I could stay around his one night. Uh, uh, well, uh, yes, at some point. Cool, uh, like in the next two to three days. I'm actually got my bag packed. We were thinking soon. Like tonight. <sighs> Your boy's gonna catch some dirt tonight. And this is quite a big step. And I'm mentally ill, so I can't. That's not what I said. That's what you were thinking. 
So you're always thinking. If I want to see my boyfriend, then I will. You can't stop me. Yep, there it goes. Charlie. But mommy, I love him. Charlie. Don't go have angry sex. Mm. You don't want angry sex to be your first sex. It'll start out gentle, then it'll be like, oh yeah, and by the way, my mom tried to stop me. Yeah, I don't think that's the <laughs> aphrodisiac you think it is. <laughs> Are you thinking about your mom? <laughs> no. Movie night. Cute. Uh, oh. Is that on top of pillows? Oh. That doesn't seem. That's not. Don't do that. That's gonna fall on your head. So before we begin, it's on a I stack of pillows. Something. The no. projector. I'm aware. It's not safe. I know you've been really down lately. <laughs> and uninspired about your art. It made me think about when Charlie was really ill and I made him that little video. It was the first time I felt like I could create something that put joy into the world. Well. That's you. <laughs> I guess I never really thought of myself as a creative person before that. Mm. But I love making these little videos to cheer up the people I love. Yeah. Oh. So I made you one. She lays her head on me. Careful, it's pretty close to lost lover footage. <laughs> then she. Cause <laughs> she remains to And they got a lot of mileage out of this camera thing. And I feel okay. like it's actually shot on the camera. It doesn't feel like it's faked afterwards. Mm. That's how I see you. Feels like the whole world is against me. I'm just scared you won't get it. I always try. <laughs> Nick, please don't leave me behind. Oh. Mm. Oh, Jesus. How far away is he gonna go? And then she was like, You're only 16 and you've been ill. And I wanna have sex with you. What's wrong with that? Thanks. Nothing wrong with that. You don't think I'm fragile, do you? No, no. I am also keeping things from you. Charlie, you're like the strongest person I've ever met. I think I'm more fragile than you are. Ooh. Mm. When you're not around, I am... Um, oh, shit. I feel a bit lost. Mm. <laughs> what do you mean? I can't talk to anyone else like I talk to you. It's crazy, too, because he definitely has a more open family around him. I mean, mm -hmm. outside of his brother and dad, just a two big influences but so his mom when i realized i was bi i feel like i woke up because i was repressing so much of myself before then my personality yeah. i still hide behind that mask oh. sometimes and nobody walks in on them that didn't make any sense <laughs> we'll see it you're allowed to be a mess sometimes sing about it oh, i'm a mess now am i <laughs> it's just giving high school musical three. No. Oh. The man, the future's coming at us so fast. Uh oh, it's with a lot more gay kisses. I think it's going down. <laughs> We're both doing it. What? I'm not doing anything. I was like, every time I look over, you're looking over. Well, no, I meant, but you're doing this. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> this is not what I expected to happen today. Can't believe we waited so long. You don't mind that I kept my shirt on, do you? Of course not. Charlie, I loved every second of what just happened. Oh. This night was the single greatest moment of my existence. Twilight. You've been looking at unis. Me and the girls are going to go on a little road trip, visit some of them. Some of these are really far away. I've been kind of worried about being away from you. Don't be worried. Do what you need to do. Oh, oh shit, again. Round two. Shit. Is that your mom? Well, thank goodness we finished before she got home. Also, your mom is so nice. We should go down and see her. Or can we not afford to walk downstairs and see <laughs> your mom? Can Who's we that? not afford to go into the other room and talk to your mom? No, they're sneaking out. God damn it. They did dirty stuff. Is he going to have a whole ass fight with his mom? He kind of ran out. He didn't get permission. I love you. Yeah, you're all right. I love you. I think, am I broken that that's how I would respond probably Benji. most of the time, knowing that I was deeply and irrevocably in love with that person? Yes. I'd be like, and you're pretty great too. <laughs> Bye. Wow. <laughs> Hi. Hi. How'd it go? Do we need some wine? Charlie? Uh-oh. Hey, I'm going to bed. Can we talk about this tomorrow? <laughs> you got this. Okay. I'm going to play on both sides. You wanted me to go, I think. I'll leave you two to uh, talk. No, I'm your kid too. You're Bob, it's time to engage. <laughs> this is your job also. I'm always gonna worry about you, Charlie. I can't help it, I'm your mom. But I know I can be overbearing. My mom was a bit like this too. You're not like her. 
This is the one that probably visited during Christmas. But I can be quick Ooh. to anger, and that's unfair on you. I just want to live my life like a normal teenager. Boyfriend sleepovers are a really big step emotionally. Too late. Waited a few more weeks just till your GCSEs are over. And I don't want to. Can that be our compromise? Doesn't seem like so much of a compromise as that's what you said you wanted in the first place. <sighs> you don't have to be sorry. <laughs> it's okay, Mom. I love you. <laughs> okay, good night. Oh, oh man. Yeah, sure, mom. No uh, sleepovers. Don't worry, we won't be doing much uh, sleeping. <laughs> Is that your mom? Our band starts at 4 p.m. I'll be there. Don't worry. I totally forgot he was in the band. I know. I <laughs> fully forgot that. They've been so busy, getting busy. What did you like about Ken? That's your top choice, isn't it? Be nice to live at home. And mum won't be on her own and be close to Charlie. What, mum? What about when Charlie goes to uni the next year? Where's yeah, he going? If he leaves, then you'll still be apart. Yeah, that's true. So you should go where you need to go. <laughs> Not all three of them be like, okay. <laughs> and that conversation is Not done. Not to be stereotypical, but us three women have already reached that conclusion. Yeah, we already thought it through, but that's fine. You deal with your stuff. It's weird how I used to like you. <laughs> oh, weird. Is it weird okay. or are you weird. used no, to? Uh, um, I'm not sure I did like you. I think I kind of felt pressure. Oh, I thought you would say pity. Boyfriend. I was like, damn. <laughs> Is it pity was, for what? And that's what cool girls do. I liked having attention from boys. It made me feel important. I don't think I've ever liked a boy. Oh, shit. Sorry, that probably makes no sense. Bye. <laughs> I get it. Where? What are you talking to? <laughs> Anybody in our, throw a stone in our friend group. It makes sense. The hell are you talking? Get the what? fuck out of my face. Even if I was straight, that would have made sense. But I'm not. Sorry, that's us being aggressive <laughs> allies. <laughs> what are you talking about? Of course I understand exactly what you're talking about. I was there last year. Would you be looking to carry on with rugby at uni? My partner's actually on one of the teams. Oh. Josh. Good for you guys. I think he found what he was looking for. Do you think I'll ever get to the point where I don't have any intrusive thoughts or anything? Nope. Like, will I ever be free of them? Mm, probably but not. It's not impossible. Even though I love Nick, I need other people. Yes. My sister. That is a healthy thing to realize at such a young age. Because she's just a kid, Veggie! Ah, it's been a minute. Oh my goodness. Not terrible. It's doable. <laughs> Might as well dump him. Four and a half hours, that's a weekend trip. You spend your weekends together. Then you start having to hang out with your new friends and then life gets busy. And then you're like, oh, I'm so sorry I forgot. Oh, next weekend and then. Unless you know that you guys are end game and you make it work. This isn't Riverdale, Benji. I'm sorry, but four and a half hours is doable. You're always putting everyone else's feelings above your own. Oof. And I know how you feel about long distance. You have to put yourself first right now. I don't know who I am without him. Maybe it's time to find out. Watch the road. Ooh. Wait, you're watching the road. You watch the road. <laughs> that was not on purpose. <laughs> my bad. Oh, I didn't fully get to read it, but it looked like he said I had been bullied in my past, and I'll make sure that the kids underneath me's oh. head boy won't get bullied. That's sweet. I'm ready. Ooh. He's just wearing a t-shirt. He's not covered up. And he's wearing short sleeves at that. Yeah. That looks like fun for like three minutes. You're the one that I want. You are the one I want. The others better hurry up if they want to make the concert on time. You're just missing Al. I don't need to be with Al every single second of every single day. Look wow. at that. I'm a grown man. Everyone's getting so much sure. I think Tori's with my parents. She's avoiding me. Oh, uh, why? Well, I uh, told her you loved her. Posed the question about us being boyfriend and girlfriend. I assumed you already were. <laughs> no, she's gone. I wish I hadn't said anything. Oh, I'll go get her. Hold on. Do you want me to go and find her? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Hurry up. I don't know why you even wasted time asking. Go. Why do you think I came to you? Michael's looking for you. <laughs> oh my God, dude. I don't ever feel anything. You feel so much. Prove it. Just trapped inside. I wish I was like you. You're emotional. Hopeful. Oof. You have so much love to give. Give it. You don't have to give it all to me. Stuck in traffic. You're already late. Charlie needs me there. Yeah. Oh, but does he? Just oh. text him and be all like, we're walking up right now. Do you see us? 
No, to the left. Do you see us? Hurry up! I'm going at the speed Come limit. On! Speed Let's limit. Guys, hurry up! Hey, they made it. Look, he was able to enjoy it on his own. They both were able to do their own thing and be happy. They were able to be apart. It's the name of this episode. Ow. Oh. <laughs> Who the hell are those other two people? We got two new people. Who are all these new side <laughs> characters? <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, Charlie's in a band with three strangers. <laughs> we'll find out who they are in season four. I've been thinking about going to art school in Europe. Wow. That's, <laughs> that's so cool. <laughs> I need to find a job though, because my mom's not gonna pay for international travel. She should um come get on over here, Tao's mom. <laughs> get on. Come, come Where'd on. you go? Where'd you go? Where you at? Let's go home. We got shit to do. By shit I mean each other. Who's gonna interrupt you now? No one. We only have two minutes left. Wait, let me help. They're gonna fall off camera and the credits are gonna roll. I'm gonna take my shirt off now. Take mine off. Has he seen his body before this? That's a good question. You're perfect. I love you. I love you. Yes. And you are so fucking hot. Oh, I thought you were right. Ah, so close. Ah. Uh... Well, Benji, that was an emotional roller coaster. That, yeah, that was quite the season. I think I was worried after that, you know, third to last episode that mm -hmm. I was like, well, it's ending in a really good place, so we're about to go through some crazy stuff. But, you know, we brought it in for a good land. It wasn't anything super traumatic. Well, or ultimately, this show is very hopeful and romantic. So even though we went to some dark valleys, we definitely came back to a high, high peak. So I, I yeah. appreciated that. When it dealt with heavy stuff i think it dealt with it delicately respectfully respectfully but also just kind of um as accurate as it can be like we said with something that still is ultimately on the more positive and hopeful side so mm -hmm. yes this is an ideal world in which things uh, no matter out. how heavy they are can still work out but i appreciated that when it was heavy it was still realistic and you it allowed us to kind of sit in the reality of just uh, a lot of the aspects of this that a lot of these issues will kind of bring to the forefront so i appreciated that no. honestly eddie marsden as the i think that's his name but the therapist i really liked him Mm -hmm. He was a great addition this yeah. season. Um, Haley Atwell is the aunt. She was great too. Mm -hmm. Jonathan Bailey. I mean, we we love Jonathan Bailey. Love here, him. But, um, I just felt like I was overpromised, and by overpromised, I mean they didn't specifically go, "Hey, he's in one scene, so don't get super excited." Guess we should have yes, seen this he'll coming. Be, he's making a cameo, essentially. A, a useless cameo. <laughs> <laughs> what did that scene provide for us? A little bit of extra eye candy. That's true. So only semi, only useless for Rizzo. <laughs> Exactly. And what was the final they're just kids count, Benji? The final they're just kids count. Brrr. 12, because we really forgot through most of the middle section. <laughs> and then it's 14 if we count the two that we were like, maybe. You know, Benji, it's okay that we forget sometimes. We're just kids. We're just kids. We're just kids. We, we're just 13. babies. <laughs> and if you want to see the full reactions, they've been on Patreon for the entirety of last month because we knew that it would take a little bit for us to edit and get this to you. But we're glad that you were patient so we could get through all the spooky reactions. And now we're here in November. This is my birthday month. Ooh, exciting. And I'm glad we were able to watch Heartstopper season three. I really like the fact that these actors have grown comfortable with their characters. Yeah. And they felt a a lot less stilted than they did in the first season. I feel like we've really hit a stride right now. Yeah. I'm really interested to see what season four has to offer. It feels very natural, and I think that's largely in part to the fact that we've had three seasons in less than three years. Yeah, with true. kids who are actually kids and growing up with and us. growing together. Yeah. So they uh, they clearly feel like a real friend group now, and I think that bleeds on to the screen in a way that the first season was good. But I like how yeah they've hit their stride. Go ahead, like. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications. Here's our social medias. Check those out if you want to see more of what we're doing. Until next time, I'm Benji. I'm Rizzo. Sweet dreams, pop stars. Keep watching. 
and get those hearts stoppered. stoppered. <laughs> Woo! The other one had snout that was more pronounced. It was a smaller snout. It was snout. a little That's bit why I didn't more, think it was super and he cute. had the tongue. I thought it was cute, but... I think that was the other one. I think no. he's he looked smaller and less filled out. It might be a third dog, Benji. Henry. Yeah, Doug and Mango. We got it. Okay. And then... But it doesn't say which scene is which. You know what? I know. I know. Hold on. Was this... But this isn't the first time they introduced him. Nope. It's just Doug the first. I knew it. Mango's the chonksy boy. Yeah. But I was right because they did switch I back. I don't think you were, though. He said it was Doug and Mango. Yeah, I know. So I know. that means that they were both in there. Hold on. So hold, I was hold. also right. I don't think you were, and I don't want to consent. Hold on. Here we Concede. go. Con shut up. That's Mango. Or Doug. That's Doug. Oh, cute. Yeah, well, that dog's nose is more pronounced. It is. Okay. But he's also smaller. So that's the Doug. other one is a chunk. No, I know the other one's a chunk. And the other one doesn't come until like a couple episodes later. Yeah, it's he, it's more the more up nose, oh, yeah. a little out. Okay, so that's Doug <laughs> taking pictures. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. That's a chunk. That's mango. mango. Wait, what was the first one? Doug. Doug. Mango's so cute. I like mango better than Doug. Oh, I would pick Doug. Mango has got a very classic, very wrinkled pug face. Like that is unmistakably. And then, and then, what was the end of it? It was where when did he we was see? In bed, they were messaging. That's Doug. I told I, you. Are you sure that's Doug? That's definitely Doug. That is not Mango. Look at that. Oh yeah, you're right. I know. That's what I said. Very clearly. Oh yeah, Mango's got like a massive. Well, head. and also Doug has the triangle ears, and then Mango's got flat. Doug. Doug looks a little bit more like honestly, like Bucket did, where he might be mixed. Yeah. Well, that's he why might I be thought part Griffin. Doug looked a lot like yeah. a little Griffin with that little nosy. Exactly. And all I was right. Like, and, that's, and I was like, that's right. Doug. All right. You didn't believe me when I said that Bucket looked I a little shut, different either. Shut <laughs> up. I'm sending you these photos so you can use them in the edit so people know what we're talking about. God. <laughs> All right, bye. Bye. <laughs>